one of the two characteristics that all athletes come to me looking for today on Mental Performance Daily. This is Brian Kane with the Mental Performance Daily Podcast, and what we're talking about today is confidence. Almost every athlete that comes to me who wants to work together one-on-one, they're looking to try to increase their confidence. And whether they know it or not, they're looking to increase consistency. And largely, confidence comes from consistency. Consistency of preparation, consistency of production on the field or in competition. But where most people are confused about confidence is they think that confidence is a feeling. When in reality, confidence is a behavior. You do confidence. Let me say that again. Confidence, it's not a feeling. It's a behavior. You do confidence. And today, we're joined by six-time Major League Baseball All-Star Lance Berkman to talk about the importance of confidence at the highest level of competition. When we talk about competing with confidence, Lance, talk about confidence. Where did that come from for you? Well, I think it... And by the way, I'm, what you say about confidence is my favorite thing that I've ever heard anybody say. Confidence is, is not something you feel. It's something that you do, which I've never heard it put like that before. But I, I just absolutely love that because it's true. Like, you know, we all, we all as coaches have fake it till you make it or, you know, the body language, all that stuff plays into it. Um, and for me, you know, confidence is one of those things. If you could, if you could bottle it up and give it to guys, you, you, you know, you'd be a gazillionaire, uh, because it's difficult to have it without, without having success. Like it's, it's really tough when you're, you know, one for your first 20 or two for 21, which I think that's how I started my big league career. You know, it's, it's really difficult to have confidence when you haven't had any success. And so the reason I like what you say about it so much is because I think you can trick yourself into at least getting into a state where confidence is a possibility. And so, you know, the, the more that you act confident, the more that you, um, you know, visualize past successes, times that you have been, you know, cause in, in baseball, you can, it, it's peaks and valleys. So it's pretty, you've played enough baseball. Most of my guys have played enough baseball, even back through little league. It's like, even if you have to go back to little league, think about a time when you got it done, like when you were in a big spot and you got it done and start to draw on that. And I think, you know, your teammates can help you. Like there's, there, uh, there are ways that you can, you know, kind of start to spark that confidence. Uh, but it all plays into th- something that you do and not necessarily an emotion. Cause the, mm-hmm. you know, the, if you're if you're dependent upon confidence as we know it emotionally, you're going to be disappointed a lot of the time, uh, and your performance is going to be really uneven. But if you can, you know, figure out a way to do confidence, then I think you you have a much better shot at at success. Thanks for checking out Mental Performance Daily with Brian Kane, an Ironclad original. If you like the show, be sure to leave us a rating, review, and comment. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, it's Brian, and I need your help. As a valued member of our Mental Performance Daily community, I'd love to receive some questions from you that I can use to help create new, upcoming Mental Performance Daily podcast episodes. So in the show notes below this episode, you're going to see a link where you can submit your questions, and I'll make sure I do my very best to answer those questions on an upcoming Mental Performance Daily podcast. Thanks a lot.